Oh, it's cranky. You got bit. You got bit in the arm. You see me getting bit around here? Only thing, only time I'm getting bit was on reeling in a fish, okay? And that's for all you guys in Texas. And I'm going to keep talking shit. I'm going to rub it in because all these guys are... Sucks. It's so hard. So I'm supposed to be in Austin, Texas. Not right here. I'll explain after I shower. Strong coffee. <coughs> so yeah, so why am I on the beach? I didn't plan on coming here. This is an awesome spot to camp, but my original plan was to be in Austin, Texas, which I was. And the reason I'm here is because I watched another YouTuber post a video of them camping in a uh, very popular gas station called Bucky's. So when I decided to do what they were doing in the video, you can't do that. So yeah, after being kicked out of the Bucky's, not once, but twice. So if you ever want to go down to the Bucky's, they are going to kick you out within two hours. So those other van life people like, oh my gosh, we're in the parking lot camping overnight. No, you're not. Oh, we had, we got permission. No, you didn't. Which is fine. You know, my people are more like Walmart people anyways. So I went down to the Walmart. Walmarts don't care. Walmart was right across the street, went over there and chilled out. You know, a little Disneyland gas station of Bucky's. You know, I get it, I get it. So yeah, after that fiasco at the gas station, the very next day, Austin was hailing and had a giant rainstorm. So yeah, so I gave up on Austin. Austin, Texas, there's a lot of things to do, but nothing really like I wanna do. Like I wanna go fishing and stuff. You can go fishing down the, like the local lakes, but like really how fun is that? I caught a bass in your local pond. Okay, I don't have a boat or anything. So I found this place on Google. Uh, you can camp on the beach. You can camp on the beach. You can camp on the beach. <laughs> so yeah, after getting kicked out from Bucky's, I got on the old uh, interweb there and uh, found this place on Google. Got great reviews from people from local people. Uh, it's 25 bucks for a seven day permit. You can camp along the beach basically for seven days and then you can renew it up to 14 days. And yeah, this is Corpus Christi, this is Padre Island. You'll hit the highway, and you'll start seeing these warning signs. You have 12 miles of nothing. Yeah, there's no gas. So yeah, this is the point of no return. See that 60 mile an hour sign? And you come up on those 
those horses, you have no more cell service. So download all your movies, podcasts, watch Instagram, text your girlfriend. Because once you pass this sign, your signal... Even they're laughing. If you come down this road, it's what you might expect. It's a lot of birds. Like shitting everywhere. I guess if you're into that. Go that way. Tonight, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Two minutes. I'm here. What's up, Texas? Huh? All those guys at the bait shop. Oh, you can't do that. You can't use a two on hook. You're not gonna get nothing. Huh? Well, sweet haul on that, baby. Every at the every at the bait shop. Peace. You can't get it done. You're from California. You got a 17 pound mono on that thing. You can't make it happen. One inch from the legal limit. I don't even know how I feel right now. I'm hiding behind the door because of the wind. But so I did all the vlogging today, did the cinematic shots, and I was like, you know what? I'm getting tired. You know, let's enjoy the area and let's go fishing. We'll just sit here and I'll finish it up later. My whole mind was, I'm gonna throw the bait out, get it set, and then come back and get the GoPro on just in case I catch something and get it on film. As I throw out, and I'm just tightening the line because I throw it all the way out, the wind catches the line. So I'm trying to get it tight, and I was gonna put it in the rod holder, come back and get the GoPro. As I'm tightening it, the freaking rod, boom, takes off. So I catch a big red. Ah, dreamed of coming over here and catching a red. And I did that today, and it's awesome. So we're gonna do a catch and cook. I am so stoked. I got seagulls coming over the top, trying to shit on me right now. Look at that, kamikaze. So I'm gonna bleed out the gills and fillet it. I don't know if YouTube could show it, so I'm just gonna do it, it's kinda gross anyway, so you get the point. You know what? I can hear my grandfather speaking to me right now that you just washed off a perfectly good saltwater fish with fresh water. I can hear him. Hey, idiot. There's an ocean right there. Go wash it off with salt water, make it taste better. But guess what? Idiot, to make my soul complete and to stop hearing voices, I'll go wash it off. You win. Washed them off. Wash them off. Okay? Can we eat now? Oh shit. Wind got me. Ladies and gentlemen. Do a little catch and cook for you. So 
This camper is about to smell like fish, and I don't really care, because I'm so happy right now. I mean, first of all, let's take a little gander at what we got. So we're inside the camper, I didn't even clean. You can see all my chones. We're messing with some, uh, some jalapenos, some red pepper, whatever the fuck that is, red onion, bell pepper, and uh, some leftover strawberries. So when I first got the Corpus, it was Easter Sunday. I went to the Corpus Christi Walmart. Now, it could have been it's Easter or it could have been that Walmart's bag of shit. So there was like three strawberries left, a couple red onions. I mean, these are like, this is like an onion that you'd find in like the Caribbean because they have three left and they're not gonna get groceries for like a week. This is that kind of vegetables and fruit I got going on here. Actually, I'm gonna wash these first. Let's wash them because I'm pretty, let's, let's wash the fruit and vegetables first because I'm pretty sure the lady in front of me fingered one of these strawberries. I mean, does that look like a finger mark to you? I mean, there's only three left. I, I, there's only so many options. And I'm pretty sure I saw her fat finger touch one of those strawberries, but we're gonna wash them off right now. Fresh water outside. And uh, yeah, let's get this catch and cook going. So getting ready to cut this. I don't have any knives, and uh, this is my hunting knife. <laughs> I did uh, clean an elk with it, so. It'll cut a strawberry. You know what's awesome about this too? Is I get kicked out of Bucky's twice. It was raining and hailing. I find this spot and I'm like, dude, I can catch like one of my dream fish. I've always wanted to taste these fish. I roll up, I'm telling you 35 seconds might be too long. That's how long it took me to catch that fish. And everybody in Texas talking their shit with their cowboy hats on at the supermarket. California kid just bam, did it to him again. You know what? One other thing, I think this calls for a little celebration. You know what I mean? Passion fruit love, baby. I might even put this on fish. I'll put a white claw on it, fish. All right, so kind of like, like kind of like fine chopping the strawberries up, put it in a container, kind of do the same with these, like like uh, cut them in like smaller pieces, like tiny pieces. I mean, I could probably cut this a little, I could probably cut this a little smaller, but this thing is a razor blade and I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I don't want to cut my finger. So, and you know, I don't want to cut my finger drinking a White Claw. Think you're gonna cut yourself? Yeah, I do think I'm gonna cut myself. So, so I'm gonna chop all this up, put it in this bad boy, and this is gonna be our like, topping salsa, if you will. I don't even know what I'm doing. Sweet, a little hot, a little peppery. All right, I think we're done with the strawberries. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And this one, water going everywhere, cool. Dude, I gotta get the shot. I gotta get the shot. With me putting strawberries away, because you guys all love that. Strawberries, booyah. Next. Next item on the list. All right, uh, back to, uh, what's that chick's name? Stuart? No, it's not Stuart. That's her name, Martha Stewart, not Stewart. Oh, yeah. Fingers up, fingers up, kids. Get those bad boys down there with this. Is this called a shallot? Heard Gordon Ramsay say it once. Is it a, uh, it's not a red onion. Shallot, is it shallot? Doesn't seem right, shallot? It's the, it's the English, what's the word? I don't know, we'll go with shallot, because it, holy shit, who pushed me? We'll go with shallot, because it uh, just seems about right. Seems about right, seems right. I swear to God, the more like I can't by myself, I think I'm losing my mind. I mean, is there anything just better than like ocean noises? I got a seagull probably talking shit to me the whole time because I got his fish. I mean, there's nothing better. Just that little, what's that, uh, what's that thing? ASMR? 
I should I should call this the ASMR channel. Just hear me chopping, talking shit to a seagull. You can't talk in ASMR, huh? Oh, bitch. That's what I thought, dude. I talk shit. I talk shit to these birds because they're just sitting there waiting for scraps. They're my little birds. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Feed them. Feed those birds. Because you know why? Steve Irwin didn't do that. Steve Irwin only went on TV and showed you the animals. I'm feeding the animals. Feeding them. You ever see Steve Irwin feed an animal? No. One notch above. Automatic, one notch above. He just went around. See, Steve Irwin just went around and fucked with these animals, okay? Like, oh my god, crikey, you got bit. You got bit in the arm. You see me getting bit around here? Only thing, only time I'm getting bit was on reeling in a fish, okay? And that's for all you guys in Texas. And I'm going to keep talking shit. I'm going to rub it in because all these guys around here trying to catch a fish, I showed up in 30 seconds, 35 seconds. Ooh. Oh, okay, so it's beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. Right. Well, you know what? Beginner's luck tastes so fucking good. Dude, I'm so tickled to death. I might not leave this spot. I might not leave. And what pisses me off more is that I came back to the camper to get my GoPro just in case. I had the little chesty thing, paid extra for it. I had a little chesty thing. I was gonna click the button and then reel fish in. I caught fish so fast. I couldn't even get the GoPro going. What does that tell you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we finished up everything. Uh, so the store in Corpus didn't have, it basically didn't have anything. So I have to use, I mean, I know, this shit sucks, but what's the alternative? Then I was trying to rip the top off because it doesn't come out. And the instructions say, open lid, puncture small hole in top. Look at how needle point that thing is. How do you? I don't even start. So we got a little lime juice. The shitty. Had to poke a hole in the top. I don't know how that like that should just come off and be able to like open. So this is good. Probably gonna ruin it, but cool. Lime juice in there. Oh, you can smell it. Oh, that lime shit sucks. But I need some type of water, something in there to get that going. Kind of like that. Ceviche. It's like a white guy ceviche, right? All right, so now that's done. Let's get to the fish. The giant fish I caught in Texas that no other Texan on this beach caught. A California guy caught that fish. Let's get that fish out. Staying corrected. All right, let's get the fish out. Already stinks like shit in here. I can smell it. Those fillets. Look at that fillet, baby. All right, let's fillet this up. I can't do it with uh, one hand. I'm gonna chop it up, kind of make like a ceviche type of thing, and then uh, I'll mix it in with the strawberries. First slab of fish, and I know what you're gonna say. I hacked the shit out of this fish. I'm not proud of it, but, but, I bought a knife from Cabela's. This knife. This thing costs like $35 for this knife. Look at how big this thing is. You would think it's like one of those bread knives. You're at a, like a restaurant and that guy comes, a guy with like the pepper. You want me to cut your bread for you? Sure. And it's like one of those big knives. That's what I was thinking. Okay, ladies, this is for you. Okay, you go meet a gentleman at the bar. He's 6'4". Okay, oh, he's a stud. Bring him back to your place. Take his pants off. Home. And it's misleading. What is this? What's going on here and what's going on here? These two, you lied to me, okay? I paid extra because it says titanium on it. For shit, okay? Would not cut through a red. This red has like armor on it. The sheath, I mean, gigantic. What's actually inside, a little small. Small package, big pants, okay? So let's cut this fish up. Uh, since I did a horrific job on it, I don't think I'm gonna get a complete slab out of it. So we're gonna try to make this like strawberry pepper ceviche. Ceviche, okay? 
okay? And that's uh, Spanish for, uh, that's Spanish for like fish in a bowl with like a blind. Definitely not, for all my Spanish friends out here, definitely not with a plastic bottle of lime juice. For, yeah, from concentrate, from ass. I mean, that's just hacked, right? Look at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the fishermen out there. That is the worst cut job I've ever seen, but uh, yeah, it's been a minute. I can't touch the camera. So now this one, I did a pretty good job on, I thought. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So this especially, this is up by the, up by the gill plate. Look at how thick that piece is. And I know some guy from Texas watching this and he'd be like, that's a, that's a wishbone piece of meat. But I saw that and I had to take it. That's a big chunk. Might have been better just to uh, cook this on the skin, but I'm gonna, I don't want to blow out my camper. So let's get that thing nice and hot. Get the flays in that bad boy. Oh yeah, we got to season that. All I got is Chicago steak seasoning. Let me tell you. Very frustrated that I uh, did not flay this fish right. It's going on the back of like a plastic tub with seagulls circling me trying to eat me. So, this is what it is. But I'm also stoked that the amount of food that comes off these fish out here, like getting a bigger fish. Back in California, we get these little like pussy ass perch that are like almost not worth cleaning. They're smaller than a crappie. So it's like cooking like two crappie for everybody. Shit. All right, so uh, let me hit, get this pan hot, season up the fish, we'll throw them in there, and uh, we'll get, oh, look at this. That's what I'm saying. Steve Irwin, what's up, dude? Oh, he just ran over, dude. Ran over the food I was giving my baby birds. Look at this. Yeah, Steve Irwin, what's up, dude? See, that's, that's the problem out here. I just caught that guy right in a Texas driver, saw the birds eating, said, fuck them. California, feeding, feeding baby birds. Steve Irwin didn't do that. That guy in that truck, fuck him. That, that, that's a Texan right there. That's a Texan all day long. That's a Texan all day long. Probably pissed that he didn't catch a fish. I caught something and my birds are out there just enjoying themselves. Look at them. Texans get frustrated. They see people from California just fishing and catching, cooking, Having a great time. He's pissed. He's going back home. Probably didn't catch shit. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of... I got the bigger steaks. Cook them separate so I don't overcook the smaller, smaller ones. All right. Let's get these bad boys in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cage, you're putting oil in a nonstick pan. No shit. Of course I am. Wouldn't. I just know about flavor. I don't give a shit about the pan. It's a non, it's a non stick. It's a non stick pan. Who gives a shit, dude? Okay? What about the pan at freaking Marshalls? <laughs> Who buys pans at Marshalls? I did. Bought that pan at Marshalls. No one gives a shit. That's non stick. I put oil on it. it makes the fish taste better. I mean, look at that. Non stick. The oil doesn't even stick. No shit. Doesn't stick to it. <laughs> Oh, someone's getting pissed off right now. I gotta leave that head up, heat up a little bit. All the windows open for this thing. What is it? Oh, listen to that purr. I mean, I got that open, I got the door open, I got the vent. Try not to smell like fish in the morning. I mean, I got my blanket there, I don't want to smell like rotten fish. Oh my God, I almost freaking nudged that out on the ground. Oh my goodness, almost lost it again. Little nuggies, little throat, little throat nugs. Got some more right there. I don't know, oh my God. Dude, if you could smell on TV what I'm smelling, I didn't part, it smells good. So fresh. like one of these numbers. Oh, it's a non-stick pan. You put oil, you put oil in a non-stick pan. Sure did, Bobby. 
Ah, uh, good lord, that's good. Look at that view. Boom, catch and cook. What's up, dude? Someone please beat me on a video. There's no chance. I mean, dinner with a view. Check that. I mean, does it get much prettier than that? Look at that. Strawberry bell pepper almost dropped it. Look at that view. Hey, catch and cook that, dude. <laughs> That's so pretty. Huh. Oh my lord, look at that. This is a dream. Dream of mine, look at that. A little strawberry, a little zest. I mean, wow. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh my god. That's seriously the best fish. That's up there with salmon. Like if this was on the shelf and salmon, I would probably go this. This has like this is like less stinkier than salmon, which is crazy. You didn't even I didn't even smell it when I was cooking it. This might have I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna go on a limb here. This is better than salmon. This is so good. Now I understand why so many people down here are fishing. But I don't know where else to leave this. This is awesome. Sun setting. I want to enjoy this food, have a little drink. I appreciate all you guys watching my my stupid nonsense. This is my first catch and cook. This is my this is my first catch and cook. Oh my god. <laughs> On YouTube. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Uh, until next time, which is probably gonna be a week from now. I'm heading out uh, to a new location. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Love you guys. Thanks.